that lovable little bear from Peru is back in movie theaters. Not much imagination in the title, though. Get this, Paddington 2. But maybe the film itself has more. Eli Glasner is here to tell us all about it. And you know what? This time of year, those yeah. holiday bills start coming. Oh, yeah. It's cold. We all need some cheering up. Is this the movie to make us chuckle? Look, it's been a rough news cycle. There are some words being said from the White House that we can't repeat. It is cold out there. It is dark. The days are short. But there's still good in the world, Suhana. <laughs> and sometimes that good takes the form of a bear that wears a hat named Paddington. Now, I adored the first film, and this was very much about the bear finding a sense of belonging in London, and that's where it begins with his new home, his new neighborhood. We very much is an intrinsic part of that place, but then he finds his pop-up book, and the pop-up book would be the perfect gift for his Aunt Lucy back in darkest Peru, so Paddington sets off to get a job, to earn some money, to finally bring her the present, but there, a thief takes the pop-up book and Paddington gives chase and the thief gets away, but the police capture the bear. Yes, here's a story you never read before. Paddington goes to prison. So let me show you what happens when Paddington issues a complaint about the slop that is, I don't know, missing some marmalade. Take a look. You want to complain? Oh no, I, I wouldn't say complain. Oh, that's a shame because I just love it when people complain. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, in that case, it's very gritty. Oh. And lumpy. And as for the bread, need I say more? That is Brendan Gleeson being bonked over the head by the stale baguette. He is Knuckles, the chef, who doesn't like critics, but that's Paddington, right? If you tell him you yes. want feedback, he gives you, he, gives he, he just you. believes in the good. And he's a very sincere kind of bear. And this movie is chock-a-block with great actors having a wonderful time. Gleason also returning uh, Mrs. Brown, played by Sally Hawkins, and Hugh Bonneville as Mr. Brown. Good cast there. I particularly like Gleason. I think he's fantastic. I know you really liked the first Paddington. How does number two stack up? It's almost as good. I mean, the thing that it doesn't have is the magic of discovery of the first First film that introduced us to Paddington, and it wasn't just about Paddington, it was an immigration story. It was about this bear getting a sense of belonging. So now the bear has belonging and he gets a job. And so you get some great slapstick Paddington, window washing, soap, water, gravity, fantastic. Or even better, Paddington at the barber shop. A horrible idea. No one should hire this bear, and yet, you know, hilarity ensues. The other great new innovation, a new villain. Hugh Grant. Now, the only thing better than Hugh Grant in a comedy is Hugh Grant playing an obnoxious actor named Phoenix Buchanan. This is the guy who actually framed Paddington. Take a listen to Grant testifying against the bear. You live on the same street as the defendant. I do. And you were an eyewitness to the events that night. Indeed, I was. I was up late when I became aware of a hullabaloo in the street below. I went to my awards room, which is a large room overlooking the newspaper kiosk. <laughs> The newspaper key, <laughs> yes. the hullabaloo, of course. I mean, Grant is just glorious. This is a movie that is silly, uh, subtle, and smart. And at the heart of it all is the bear that sees the good in everyone. What a concept. Four stars out of five. Excellent. I'm going to find a way to use the word hullabaloo, hullabaloo. today. <laughs> Thank you, Eli. You're welcome. <laughs>